I know that love is ever poised to flow through our hearts and our minds. Absolutely ready. What do I do to open to reveal that greater love? Sometimes being pushed to the edge of giving more, that allows a shift, an opening, a stretching, uh, a new pathway to the endless vistas of love. Love that's awaiting us for expression, to love beyond anything that we have ever known before. Opportunities for this opening meet us daily, really. I know in my world, I can, I can feel such deep sadness around my family history with my brothers and sisters. And it's not that there's no love present among us, but what has slowed its growth between us and among us? What has stopped me from releasing old concepts and ideas held just to move beyond the limitation I feel around a newness with them. For me of late, it has taken very deliberate internal choice to act, to consciously release the blocks of pain and anger and despair and open, open, open to that greater love. Write a letter, make a phone call. This happens in countries and nations as well. Our government here in Canada is struggling with reconciliation in regard to our indigenous population. Opening to love and the truth of love is becoming the obvious only way to go. There's intensification. There's the deliberate revelation of love more fully. This morning, I just give three cheers <laughs> for the internal and external work being done to reveal love ever more fully. We are all rightly <laughs> a revelation of the wonder of love. And I see its dominance in heart and mind as key to our movement forward together on this planet. 